Greetings, my friends. In this video, I'd like to discuss the subject of ranting, complaining, and criticizing other people, subjects, and events in your life in general, but also ranting about things that you cannot change immediately or that you just will never be able to change at all, things that are outside of your control. Now, ranting in general is toxic. If you're ranting about something, it doesn't matter what you're ranting about, the art of ranting, like the ranting, just ranting, the act of ranting in general destroys your life. Ranting destroys your mental clarity. You're directly causing yourself stress. You are literally causing yourself stress when you choose to complain. You're also causing other people stress when you rant to them. Nobody wants to hear you ranting. And anybody who, who actually entertains other people's ranting are usually ranters themselves. When you rant to other people, they have two options. Either they can try to conversate with it which there's no when you're ranting it's not a conversation you're just ranting and expressing anger and emotional charge um other people can be like oh yeah um you know like i, I hate when people do that too man that shit pisses me off yeah like you know but that's not really adding any benefit to anybody's life you're literally just uh, making yourself feel bad when you entertain people's rants it's really just spreading feelings and negativity. Um, I mean, that's all there is to it. And that's one thing. And that's usually, that's usually what people expect when they rant to other people. They want other people to, to feel the anger and whatnot that they feel. And it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, the second option is to actually empathize with the person and give them the kind of attention that you would want someone to give you if you were to rant to somebody else, okay? Now, a mature person would want reflection. A mature person would want to come to a solution. They would want advice that would actually solve their problem. <laughs> Although, unfortunately, usually when people are addicted to ranting, they're ranting to express the feeling. To, and they're amplifying the feeling. They're, they're actually ranting because they're addicted to the feeling of ranting, believe it or not. And they think that by ranting to somebody, they're going to relieve themselves of whatever it is they're ranting about. But the reality is when you rant, it actually amplifies the feeling of frustration. And so if another person give, you know, the other person can, that you're ranting to can give you advice or they can give you reflection. They could give you their perspective on the situation. And that can be very helpful if the ranter actually accepted this perspective or this understanding and tried to understand what the person was saying. But, you know, if the ranter is just looking for more frustration, which is often the case, then they're not going to, they're not going to be able to uh, receive the helpful advice or the positive energy that the other person is giving. And this is unfortunate, but it's because ranting is an addiction. So if you're ranting at other people, you're, you're just shooting yourself in the foot, either way. And I mean, do you really wanna cause other people's stress by ranting to them? I mean, if the other person is open to giving you practical advice, that's one thing. But if you're not willing to accept practical advice, you're, being, you're just being retarded, you know, ranting to them. It, there's no purpose in it at all. It's, uh, it's actually inconsiderate. Uh, you're trying to take your stress. and I mean, literally what you're doing is you're putting your stress on somebody else. You may not realize it, but that's what you are doing. Um, so... And if you just have a tendency to rant amongst yourself, which most people rant to others, but if you're just the type of person that rants, um, you're wasting your time. Because you can only focus on one thing at a time. And if you're focused so much on criticizing th something, ranting about something, complaining, like, ah, oh, I like this food, fuck this food, or like, um, 
I don't know, like, uh, oh, like this person's taking forever or this person always does this, this and this and this. You know, like, oh, like I'm so tired of this person and blah, 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 blah. Like you're so fixated on something that's not even happening to you at the moment. It's not even something that actually directly affects you most of the time. Most of the time, these things don't actually directly affect the person. But for some reason, they, they feel the need to fixate on it. And the situation's not actually what's hurting them. It's their, their fixation on it. It's the way that they're seeing it, really. Because you can, you can focus on, on the situation with understanding. And if you're actually working to understand the situation, then the emotional charge is gone. You, you, by understanding something, you relieve yourself of the emotional charge. But by staying in this subjective, like, rrr, 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 this kind of thing, you're, you're hurting yourself. You're not doing anything productive, and uh, you've got to really, like, transform that energy. So when people, people who have a tendency to rant in this way, are usually they don't have other things to focus on. Or else, you know, because, like, ranting is so stimulating. It stimulates people in ways that normal conversation cannot. They want to feel some kind of excitement, some kind of emotional stimulation. And if they're not, if, and, and a lot of times, ranting and complaining takes the place of excitement. These people oftentimes can't even feel excited anymore. They lost that ability because ranting has taken its place. And it's just like when you are addicted to pornography, it ruins your natural feelings of real, natural, human-to-human -human sex. Uh, or when you do meth or some kind of hard drug, which I don't know anything, I've never done it before, but drugs sensitize your, feeling, your normal feelings of achievement and whatnot. So it's a greater high when you rant than regular conversation. And that's why these people that have a tendency to rant, they're addicted to it. And it's like there's never going to be a conversation with, with a person that does not involve some kind of ranting for them. They find it very hard to let go of this ranting. And because of it, they're always stressed. They always struggle. And problems tend to stick around longer for these people. So... In order to change, to, to improve the situation, you have to catch yourself. You have to first admit the fact that you have a problem. You have to just allow that to be a possibility. You can't really, like, you can't, like, be offended, like, oh, fuck my life. I don't have a problem. Fuck you. Or, like, or, and that's, that's part of the ranting process. You have to just be open to the fact that you have a problem. And then once you can accept the fact that, yeah, I, I always rant, you know, I'm addicted to it. It's just a pattern I picked up. Uh, I can change it. You, you realize that you can change it. It's not just who you are. It's something that you can change. And so you catch your, you start to try to be aware of this. And when you start to catch yourself in a rant, realize that it's happening. And you can sit with it. You don't have to express your feeling. Just because you're feeling angry about something doesn't mean you have to rant. Sit with the feeling. Even if you're with someone else, if you're silent and other people are like, what's wrong, what's wrong? You don't have to tell them. Just sit with the rant. Feel the frustration. And think about it. Just, just be aware of what you're feeling and, and, and listen to the thoughts. Observe the thoughts that are going through your head because you're not your thoughts. You're the observer. Listen to what, what the, the rant, the crazy thoughts go through your head. And... Just the act of observing rather than reacting helps you overcome this problem. And from there, anytime you start to find yourself ranting, you sit down, observe it for a little bit, just feel it. Just don't open your mouth at all. Feel the crazy feeling. And then after and then you're then does just don't react. And now you've solved the problem of ranting. You solve the problem of complaining, and what do you have left? The feeling of frustration that causes the rants in the first place. And over time, you can work to remove frustration. You can let go of the situation, and it becomes easier for you. So if you have any questions or comments down below, uh, leave them down below. Any experiences you've ever had with people who rant or your own experience of ranting, let me know, and I'll talk to you soon.